One of the most fascinating aspects of researching Carnatic music is the linking of various songs to specific temples where they were composed. And then, when you travel to those places, as I often do leading groups, identifying specific features in that temple which are mentioned in those songs becomes an emotional exercise. I have experienced this in places like Tiruvarur, in Madurai, in Tanjabur, in Tiruchi. But unforgettable among these has been the following of Purandara Dasa to Vijayanagar or Hampi. That is a special emotional experience and a small snippet of that is what I would like to share with you today which relates to the Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami temple in Hampi. Vijayanagar, as you all know, was one of the most powerful empires of India, extending all over, all over the south between 1330s and 1565, when it was finally finished following the Battle of Talikota or Rakhasi Tangidi, as it is known today. But the influence of the Vijayanagar Empire extended for far longer. And sometimes I feel that there are so many cultural practices that we still follow that dates back to those times that we still appear to be living in the shadow of the Vijayanagar Empire. At its zenith, it extended all over the south and then into Orissa as well. And perhaps the greatest monarch that we have had is King Krishna Devaraya. Krishna Devaraya, who ruled between the final years of the 15th century and the late 1520s. It was at his time that the empire reached its height. Today, when you go to Hampi, you, all you find are ruins, except for a few shrines that have remained the way they were. For instance, you have the Virupaksha temple. And in the Virupaksha temple, when you walk in, what you recollect is the fact that as a child, you learnt Purandara Dasa's Geetam, Kunda Gaura Gauri Vara Mandiraya Manamakuta Mandara Pusumakara Makarandam Vasituva. And in that, there is a particular line which says, Hemakuta Simhasana Virupaksha Manavashrita Mandara Pusumakara Makarandam Vasituva. So on the Hemakuta hill, seated on a throne, O Virupaksha, worshipped by all the people. And that is how the Virupaksha's temple is even today. Next to it is the magnificent Hemakuta Hill and this is one of the few temples that is still in worship in this particular region. But let's go further and this is a statue of Krishna Devaraya with his two consorts as is seen in the Tirumala temple and it was during Krishna Devaraya's time that Vyasaraya who was associated with the empire from before this king's time and was to continue after this king's lifetime it was during Krishna Deva's time that Vyasaraya became not only the vice chancellor of the university that existed in Vijayanagar, but he was also asked to share half the throne with the king. This Adha Simhasana being a great honor to the ruler Krishna Devaraya. Vyasaraya was also the head of the Dvaita order at this time, and to be ordained into the Dasakuta by Vyasaraya was a special honor by itself. And who else? But Purandara Dasa should have had that honor. He came here and he was ordained by Vyasaraya. Purandara Dasa is a living presence all over Hampi. When you walk, you can imagine him walking along with you, singing his songs. And by the Tungabhadra River, behind the Vitala temple, is a Purandara Mantapa, where there is a bar relief to Purandara Dasa carved on one of the pillars. The Mantapa itself is something that is to be experienced. Standing by the Tungabhadra River and during the rainy season, it is practically flooded by the river itself. It is full of breeze and you can hear the river flowing by on the side and you can then imagine Purandara Dasa composing his various compositions here, teaching it to his followers and getting them to sing it all in chorus. But today, I am going to take you to a, one of uh, the very, very lesser known shrines of Hampi. And that is the Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami Temple, which brings all these three great personalities together. You've got Vyasaraya, you've got Krishna Devaraya, and you've got Purandara Dasa. So it is a very, very unique shrine. To reach this place, the path is not easy. 
you have to cross the Virupaksha temple, the Virupaksha bazaar, and then you walk through rocks and boulders. They cut your feet, it is quite hot. Suddenly you find that the boulders come on top of you in the form of an arch and then you crawl underneath and you go through. But by your side is the Tungabhadra river, keeping pace along with you, giving you a lot of breeze. Vyasaraya, in the hymn that he composed at this particular Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami temple, says, Vasinam Chakratirthasya Dakshinastha Girausada Tunga Ambodi Tarangasya Vatena Parishobite. This Anjaneya is residing at Chakratirtha. And why is it called Chakratirtha? As you can see in this particular picture, the Tungabhadra becomes practically a circle. It curves around itself and then begins to flow. So it's called Chakratirtha. And the hill is Dakshinasthagiri because it is on the southern side. And it is forever cooled by the breezes that are coming from the Tunga. And that is what he says in his hymn. That is what we experience even today when we go there. To give you an idea of the magic of this particular place, I'm going to show you a small video clipping of what it is to walk along the Chakratirtha and reach the Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami temple. You can see that the surroundings are full of boulders, the river flowing placidly by, and then you come to the temple. You can imagine how it must have been when Vyasaraya consecrated it. And this must have been the path through which the king, Vyasaraya and Purandaradasa must have come walking up. And then there is a flight of broken rock cut steps that you need to go up. And there you are at the temple itself. That is the Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami temple. Compared to all the grand shrines that were once standing in Vijayanagar, the Virupaksha, the Vithala, the Krishna temple, the Chandikeshwara temple, the Hazararama temple, all of them in ruins. But the Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami temple, a small temple, is still standing and is still in worship. Vyasaraya, in the hymn that he composed here, says that all the vassal kings came and worshipped over here. And you can imagine that in Krishna Devaraya's time, there must have been so many vassal rulers who must have come here and they must have come to this particular temple to offer their prayers. Vyasaraya also says that Nevidya of all kinds, food offerings are kept, are offered to this deity. Today, everything is simplicity itself. There is a very aged priest who takes care of the temple with complete devotion and he is so happy when you make that arduous trek and finally come to the temple. And after the worship, he explains to you some of the features of the temple. You must remember that Hampi has got a strong association with the Ramayana. It is believed that this was the capital of Kishkinda, the kingdom that Sugriva ruled over. All the boulders that you see around are supposed to be the smashed pieces of the rocks that Vali and Sugriva hurled at each other during their great battle. And so you have a lot of monkeys over here and you have a temple to Sugriva which is very close to this Anjaneya Swami temple. There is a temple to Rama which establishes that link with the Ramayana. The Yantrodharaka Anjaneya himself is a very, very unique icon located inside a yantra in a meditative posture. It is believed that Vyasaraya meditated for 12 days over here before he finally decided on how he was going to consecrate Anjaneya inside that particular yantra. To signify those 12 days, you have 12 monkeys carved all around this icon in bar relief, each one holding on to the tail of the monkey in front. So for 12 days, you have 12 monkeys. Purandaradasa came here, must have come here along with Vyasaraya because he was such a follower of Vyasaraya. And he composed Swami Mukhya Prana, a composition that has remained in the texts over several years. In recent years, Vidwan R.K. Sri Ram Kumar has set it to tune in the Raga Yadukula Kamboji. During our tour to Vijayanagar, we were very fortunate to have singer Ashwat Narayan with us and he sang that composition at that shrine much to our emotional delight and to the delight of the priest and I am sure to the delight of Anjaneya himself. Today, I have requested him to specially re-record re this song for us 
and I am including this as part of my presentation. Let us listen to him sing this song. Swami Mukhya Pranani Malivar Gandalagana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramarajarana Swami Mukhya Pranani Malivar Gandalagana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramarajarana Swami Mukhya Pranani Malivar Gandalagana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramarajarana Ekadashi Rudrani Ekadashi Rudrani Hididayo Ramar Mudra Ekadashi Rudrani Hididayo Ramar Mudra Ekadashi Samudrani, Setu Vegati Samudrani, Hari the Yobal Vedra, Setu Vegati Samudrani, Hari the Yobal Vedra, Swami Mukhya Pranani, Malever Gandelegana. Sakala Vidya Praveena Ni Hididayo Ramar Charana Vaikuntha Sthala Dinda Bandhu Vaikuntha Sthala Dinda Bandhu Pampaya Kshetra Ni Nindu Vaikuntha Saladinda Bandhu Pampaya Kshetra Dinindu Vaikuntha Saladinda Bandhu Pampaya Kshetra Dinindu Yintro Dharak Nindu Yintro Dharak Nindu Mantro Dharak Nindu Yentro Dharak Nindu Purandare Vithalana Sah Nindu Yentro Dharak Nindu Purandare Vithalana Sah Nindu Swami Mukhya Pranani Malivar Gandal Gana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramar Charana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramar Charana Sakal Vidya Praveenani Hididayo Ramar Charana This presentation would not have been complete without the help of several people. First of all, the tune of Swami Mukhya Prana by R.K. Sriram Kumar, the special recording by Ashwat Narayan, the video recording of the walk to the Yantro Dharaka Anjaneya Swami Temple was taken by Vidya Nagarajan when she traveled with us to that place. Similarly, the Virupaksha Temple photograph was taken by Dr. Vijay Sriram when he came with us. The Yantro Dharaka Anjaneya icon we did not photograph, but I found a copy of it in the Pinterest site attributed to Sri Devi Balaji. The Purandara Dasa painting that you saw right in the beginning was by my mentor S. Rajam. The Vyasaraya painting is from Wikipedia. The Yantro Dharaka Hanumat Stotram, the verse that I quoted, 
was thanks to Sita Lakshmi Narayana who came with us and recited the stotra at that sanctum itself. May Yantrodharaka Anjaneya Swami take us true to health and prosperity in these troubled times. I hope to be soon back with you with more snippets from Carnatic music history. Thank you very much.